The psalm that Jeannie sang this morning is the psalm of a singer in exile. It is the psalm of one who had once been in the temple and who had known the joy of the Lord and the, and the, um, um, the, 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 the blessing of people who were yearning after God and who had also known the response of God in corporate worship. It is, it is, the, it is a singer somewhere, probably in the north, who had once been in services like you and I, who'd known the sweet power of the Holy Spirit and heard the children of Israel praise God under the anointing, but now is in some foreign land under some captor and is heard to cry the words that we heard her sing this morning. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? These people who had taken this singer for according to this psalm, this person actually led the singers into the temple. And under that leading had known the joy of the Lord, felt the witness of the Holy Spirit, had this deep, marvelous, wonderful experience that you and I have had by God's grace. Only this was when they were at the temple. When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me, for I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept holy day. Oh, what a remembrance. Now, why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God. Now, is that something this person's exhorting themselves in a foreign land? Uh, under, under captivity, they remember what it was like and they remember how great it was to be with the multitude of worships, the worshipers and now they're exhorting themselves. Why am I cast down? Hope thou in God for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance or the help. Of, I shall yet see his face. Oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore will I remember thee. Now, he's had these experiences in, in the temple, but he's had some other experiences in the Holy Land. He's out of Israel, but he refers to the land beyond Jordan. That's the Holy Land. I remember thee from the land of Jordan. That means God dealt with him somewhere as he's dealt with us. As he traveled in the Holy Land, as he traveled in Jordan, God dealt with him. He said, I, I remember those experiences. I remember the joy of it. I remember of the Hermonites. That means that in Lebanon and Mount Hermon, he had an experience with God there. And then there's a place that we don't know where in the world it is. It said from the hill miser. I had an experience on the hill miser. That's a place of blessing. That's a place where God helped him. That's a place of remembrance and a place of joy. That's a place where the glory came down. So he remembers the temple. He remembers what it was like in the land of Israel. He remembers what it was like up at Mount Hermon. And he remembers a place called uh, Mount Miser. There was a place, no doubt, where the tears streamed down his cheeks. I mean, this time for joy. Not because he was away from the blessing of God's people, but somewhere in the company of the righteous ones, God blessed his soul and filled him and helped him. And no, he might have even danced for joy as David did before the ark. But he's in another land. He's remembering these blessings. Deep calleth unto deep at the noise of thy water spouts. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. This uh, blanket of depression I'm under is covering me like an ocean. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness. Now, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I've just got to throw it in right here. No wonder Saransky. No wonder the great Jewish dissident 
asked for one thing while he was in Jewish prisons in the, in the gulags. He asked for the Psalms. And it was there that he rediscovered God. I just turned back to that biography you, you gave me by Martin Gilbert and I got over in the back. I wish I'd have brought that. I just didn't know that I'd be speaking on it. But, but you see, he was captured in a foreign and pagan land and no doubt they said, where is thy God? It's a tremendous thing. <laughs> I just thought of it. I thought, oh, there he was, Jesus. He just asked for the Psalms. It, it took the Psalms away from him one time and he went on a hunger strike. And he said, and he, and he was going to die unless they gave the psalm, Psalms back to him because the word of God was his meat day and night. Oh, that's great. That's great. Look, no wonder, no wonder, no wonder. But I thought, oh, my friends, if you and I get out and away from God's blessing and God's leading, it may be that we'll need the 42nd Psalm and the 43rd because there is an answer, an exhortation for us that uh, certainly will help us. Yet, he said, the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime and in the night his song shall be with me. And my prayer unto the God of my life, I will say unto the God my rock, why hast thou forgotten me? Why go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a sword in my bones, mine enemies reproach me while they say daily unto me, where is thy God? Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. 43 is written by the same person under the same circumstances. The singer in exile. Judge me, O God, and plead my case against an ungodly nation. See, it's the person in captivity. O oh, deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. For thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me, let them lead me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacle. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God, my God. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I... For I shall yet praise him. See, the same phrase comes back in the 43rd. I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. The Psalms of a singer in Israel who knew the blessings of worship that you and I have known, who knew and remembered places along the way of guidance and of blessing in the land of God himself. And because of those remembrances, take hope to pray and exhort his soul that yet again, if God will give the light, it will lead him to the holy hill of blessing and of worship. I don't think that we can do without Psalms 42 and Psalms 43, for they are the meat for the people of God and believers everywhere. In Jesus' name, we thank him. Praise the Lord. Sanctify this, Jesus, in thy name. Praise the Lord.